friends, thanks for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and this is going to be your forecast for the month of April. And please bear with me, my cataracts are to the point where I can barely see now. Still waiting for my appointments to get them fixed. So we will begin. Now as I've said in past videos and the live streams, the April was going to be a month of confusion. So let's see if we can decode this for you. There's going to be some uh, pathways opening up for you. As we know, we've got uh, a lot of things going on in the world. The money system is failing. We're in free fall. But there's going to be some opportunities for you or there's going to be some type of um, out of these opportunities something delightful is going to happen now this is also going to be a month of healing soul searching self -disco discovery and uh at the beginning of the month a time for you to take a step back in order to bring into a new understanding of spiritual versus physical light versus dark and not so much eliminating the dark though it does show that there's being light shed on some darkness here this feels more like bringing things to a balance, healing the past, maybe coming to that point in your life where you're needing to leave the past. And in order to leave the past, in order to move forward into this new world, you need to reconcile it. This illumination is going to bring truth, freedom, the ability to cut away what needs to be eliminated in your life and ready for your new beginnings April is is like well spring at least in the northern hemisphere so for you that are in the southern hemisphere this is more of a taking a leap of faith into this new world into sci-fi world solar plexus chakra is the one to focus on of all of your chakras if you're um, the meditative type, which all should be, uh, taking time for bringing things to balance within yourself, physically, health-wise. There's also, uh, this is also indicating a need to be patient with yourself, reward yourself. Around mid-month, We had the Ace of Air here and with new beginnings, with deception and envy. This may be a letting go period for you, Aries. The realization that being envious of someone else, maybe it's that realization that everyone is struggling Perhaps this is someone who was envious of you and finally understanding who you are. Now we have the moon under the shadow card, which is also the moon. Emotional withdrawal. This feels very much, Aries, like an, a realization of we're in this for the long haul. This is going to take time. So we see you mid-month being more conservative. Um, no spending sprees. This feels like spring now. Suffering in silence. I have to start, you know, thinking about my supplies. Thinking ahead to next winter. How am I going to manifest it? We have the wizard here. Virgo energy. We also see Aries energy up here. And Leo. 
this is where you buckle down. This feels like self-discipline. And wow, strong Leo energy. This is the strength card, power, um, perseverance. Taking control of self-control. It almost feels too like um, all right so we spoke about you preparing for the winter thinking in 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 spring I'm going to have to be more conservative however there seems to be there's like this maybe because of the enlightenment up here there seems to be this little treasure that you you a gift and we've got the Sun card here twice for you in this reading. Which is about joy and happiness, new beginnings. A very spring-like energy. Maybe just like hitting the ground running into this new year. And the spring equinox is like the beginning, the new, the, the growth, the preparation for the next winter. In the latter part of the month, there's going to be more um, focus on a soulmate, whether that's a family member, a friend, or a lover. But there's positive movement moving forward. It's like you're both on board or you're all on board with a plan and a goal. And working on this together, we have awareness. This is the magician manifesting things coming to understanding how you are going to accomplish a completion of we have the ten of pentacles here ten of earth this can mean you get it all and this could be return on investments Spring coming to fruition, being able to see that return on investment before it's even in, you know, like planting the seed. You can see how many beets you're going to get out of that garden by how many seeds are popping out of the ground. Recognition and reward, going with letting go of the past, putting down those burdens, delegating certain responsibilities to those who should be responsible for their own abilities rather than carrying it for them. You're going to be recognized for what you have carried up to now. This will make it easier for you to lay down those burdens in order to free up more of your energies for the future. And here you are blazing your own trail for material and spiritual prosperity. You're going to have opportunities that are going to open up doors for you this month. Aries, no doubt it, doubt it. And I'll end this reading with a message about love for romance for Aries in the month of April. What is the message for Aries in the month of April regarding love? We have a soulmate. So some of you might be meeting your soulmate. This is yes, this is your soulmate. For those of you who are wondering about a certain someone. Your love life is affected by children. They may have children. You may have children. It may be a goal of yours or theirs. It may be that you were soulmates in a past lifetime siblings could be you just act like children when you're together there is a certain sense of uh, actually a very nice balance here Aries of giddiness and t 
in order to prepare for that future. I hope that helped. Thanks for joining me. God bless.